this episode we are creating a character from a gang known as your former boyfriends, the X-Men. Anyway, it's a very cost efficient look, takes about 30 minutes to prep and one hour, one and a half maybe to apply. So let's get that slick, wet look kinda hair uh, going with uh, basic mousse. Uh, any kind of mousse, any brand will do. Just get it in there, calm it in there. And of course, we know you're gonna look your best when you apply it. Yeah. So, next up is the orange slash red color. You pick your choice. She is depicted in various uh, red tones throughout her uh, lifetime in the series. So, you pick one that you like best. We're going for a more orangey kind of look. So this is basic hair spray color. And we're kind of mixing two uh, versions here. This one is a little more red and now we go for a uh, top coat of um, the orange one. Spray it down there. See the right color? And when we're done, we can continue this with either uh, going for a Lilo look from the fifth element or, in this case, Mystique. After that cleanup operation, let's put in the contacts, basic yellow contacts, and boom, we are ready to go. Alright, so blue foam sheet. And these are the patterns we're going for, at least for the forehead. If you don't have access to foam sheets, you can always create this with tiny droplets of liquid latex or latex paste, leave it to dry, and then apply with skin adhesive. So once we've cut them out, all those little... Alright, so a visit on the shelf as well. Um, we peel that little paper off and we can just stick them straight to the head. And worth noting at this point is that we chose to attach these first prior to the paint job because we are going to use an oil-based paint and that would have made them fall off pretty pretty easy. So think about that if you're planning to use a uh, grease-based color. Heading on with that blue paint job and we leave some parts open here as you see right there for the white tones because of course we don't want a flat blue look to this we want to look a little bit good as well so we need some dynamics of the color works mixing in that white and blending those tones another reason for going with those grease based colors they are very very nice to uh, mix together they blend very well but as always, with our looks, you can achieve them with basically any kind of color you got. Highlighting going on. And a good Swedish word to learn as we do this makeup is superhero. And in Swedish, that is superhjälte. And to our Swedish audience, pay attention here because it's one word. Do not self-scrive, please. And now for Ellie's favorite part, extending that blue paint into the ears. She's gonna be blue for a week, no matter how much she showers. Switching our focus to the eyes and uh, namely uh, the waterline in this case. Gonna get blue all over. And speaking of blue, let's uh, kick in uh, some more punch around those eyes as well. Sort of a, um, yeah, a semi smoky kind of look to it. You can go either way or any way, I should say. Sounds like a stupid rhyme session here. <laughs> and if you look in the lower mirror in her palette, you'll see a silly guy smile there. Yep. And as that makeup eats us way closer to the lash lines, it gets darker. And right before our lip fix, we go in and throw in those faux lashes. There we go. In place. So the lips. 
even more blue, same blue as around the eyes. And while we're using those dark tones, we might as well do some contouring as well. If you are an X-Men fan, which character is your favorite and why? And should we do more of them? And before we extend that paint job down onto the upper torso, we address those brows with a dark blue tone. We are letting that paint job go further down on the body and we use white tones here to highlight those collarbones and to shape the neck. And the slight shift in color tones on the whole video is uh, me accidentally knocking the white balance on the camera without noticing. So, there you go. More of our little scales, if we can call them that, on the edge there. Sort of like Ellie is turning into Mystique or the other way around. And with a little highlight fixer upper there, we are actually done. You are Mystique from the former boyfriend's group, or the X-Men. Uh, yeah, there you go. Tell us what you think about this creation. We thought it was kind of cool because it was fairly easy, straightforward to do. And uh, yeah, came out pretty, pretty cool. So tell us down below. See you soon.